To say that we're the only program of the kind in Africa is probably not untrue. Uh, in fact, there aren't all that many in the world uh, dedicated programs in future studies at this postgraduate level. We're certainly the only one in Africa, and we are very proud of this fact. We can perhaps summarize future studies as an attempt to answer three fundamental questions. Question number one, what is going on out there in the big wide world? Question number two, so what? And question number three, now what? So part of the, one of the major objectives is to equip decision makers with ways and means of dealing with change, making the right decisions to at least survive that change, but preferably to thrive and prosper from that change. Right, I'm sure that for most people, for many people, the ultimate aim would be to graduate with a master's degree in future studies. But to enable, uh, to be allowed to do a master's degree, one first needs some previous qualification. And in our context, that is a postgraduate diploma in future studies. It's a one-year program, uh, and we entertain applications from anybody with an appropriate bachelor's degree and two or three years of experience in the world of strategic planning. Appropriate bachelor's degree, you know, it is future studies. It's such a wide, multi and transdisciplinary course. Virtually any bachelor's degree qualifies. Well, the one obvious reason is to qualify for the master's degree. At the same time, however, we do see the PG diploma as being a standalone course. So for those people who do not intend doing a master's degree, the idea is on the postgraduate diploma as a standalone course, we equip students, we equip candidates with the necessary set of tools and understanding to make better, more informed, sensible decisions about the future. And amongst other things, embracing that to enable them to make decisions about the future operation of their organizations. So to achieve this, in the postgraduate diploma, we have six basic modules, ranging from principles of future studies, understanding the world, applied systemic techniques, uh, uniquely in some ways, applied philosophy, uh, managing uh, change, and then making and measuring the future. So after doing these modules and all the accompanying assessments, the idea is that a student will, a newly graduate student, will be able to have a, have a toolkit of both concepts, ideas, better understanding, deeper understanding, systemic understanding, as well as tools that they can apply in the real world. Well, the quick answer is anybody with a serious concern about the future. And that could be anybody. It could be strategic planners, it could be MDs, it could be CEOs, anybody who is or, or sees themselves as being involved in strategic planning with a, with a particular emphasis on slightly longer term planning, 5, 10, 15, 20 years down the road. It's also the whole program, the whole structure is also aimed at achieving some of the university's major objectives in terms of uh, understanding Africa and making Africa a better place and planning for changes in Africa and planning for uh, uh, making a better future for Africa. I did it when I was just over 40, 42 or 43, so uh, you can say it was part of a midlife crisis. But it was really a mid-career thing. Um, I wanted to have a new stimulation, I wanted to learn a few more things, and I was at a point in my, in my career where I had the time uh, to do it. Uh, so that, that's, that's really, it was a couple of things that came together. And it was a marvellous experience, I must say. So it takes us, takes you through, as I say, further understanding, deepening of, of, of concepts, but also by the end, one should be able to practice as a futurist. The program also includes, the master's program, a fairly substantial uh, bit of in independent research where students get the opportunity to really research and focus on something that is of relevance to them. My most important takeout from the program was, uh, was the awareness that one should look at things holistically and in a, in a, in a bigger context. It is, you know, it's so often in life that it happens that one gets uh, involved in, 
uh, in in detail and and you you, you say you, you you can't see the the wood from the trees uh, that that's really the case and and what what the info did for me was to take me beyond that and to enable me to look differently at the world around me and because I look at it differently to understand it differently that was probably the biggest single takeout so who should enroll for this program essentially as I've already indicated anybody who has a concern about the future, who wants to and is willing to engage in meaningful conversations about the future with like-minded people, who want to not only measure, but also make the future, to bring about a more ideal future or a desired future, and to do so in a way that has got a scientific base. And this could be anybody from any kind of profession. I wouldn't single anything out because all the modules we did were really useful. They really taught me a lot and I, uh, I've taken a lot from all of them. Uh, that would be my first answer. I learned a lot from demography. I learned a lot from the technology module. I learned a lot from uh, systems thinking. I learned a lot from the assignments that we had to do and so on. But maybe if you push me a little bit, I would say that the technology mod module and how that impact on the rest of society and how it influences the rest of the society was probably by a very short, a small margin was the one that stood out for me. But as I say, by a small margin because the other modules were also very, very instructive. Well, the shortest answer to the question why people should come to USB, I can now mention all the, th we've got good buildings and good staff, international, we accredited and so forth. The fact is here we change lives. You won't leave this place the same way you came in here, I can guarantee you that, and it's for the good.